Wisconsin. I don't see a tight team right now. Carlini shaking the hand of Maury back there. Smiles on the face. Trying to play loose. Trying to play relaxed. Only Back out to Lee to try again. Over the block this time she goes. And it's out. Right idea. The corner's back there. It's a good shot. But got a lot of freshmen on the floor here for Penn State. You're going to see a few mistakes. That one serves short. Over on two goes Hancock. Over the block. She might have had a bigger role because nobody on our team can complain about anything when it comes to what Denny Morales has given up and what she has done for this team. Another high-flying swing from Kelly Bay, too. They just run such a, such a quick offense to run the left side. She is just flying through the air when the ball leaves the center's hands. Service error. Side item point to the Nittany Lions as Neil Grant goes back to serve. 50 on the season as 16 aces on the air, an All-American, an All-Big Ten, unanimous decision. Block is there, the antenna, so the foot will go to Wisconsin. And again, if you're questioning that, the attacker hits the ball, it goes into the block, and then hits the antenna, so it's out of bounds on the defense. this fourth set. One point advantage for the Badgers. Ready over the block. Very close to the net. Whitney gets it 
to go. Carlini is there and just couldn't get the ups on the ball. That time, Mike Hancock goes to Ayanna Whitney out of necessity as she's way over here by the referee stand when she sets that ball. But with Kelly Bates in the front row, Penn State not hesitating to flood that side of the court. Micah just has to hang one up there and do a little acrobatics to stay out of the net. Any soft touch there. Washington picked it up. That's about understanding the rhythm of a match and knowing what's open on the court. That's a senior play right there by Courtney Thomas. So Nelson rotates out, as does Maury. For Wisconsin, Katie Gavas, back to serve. She was a spark when Wisconsin needed it last night. Can she do that here? The season high three aces, 11 total on the season. Megan Courtney Thompson, all of that one. The Wisconsin block simply smothers this ball. Absolutely nowhere to go for Megan Courtney, and I just continue to be impressed with how this Wisconsin block is performing. Five blocks for Thompson as Hancock takes it over on two. Taking Hancock with the seven kills here today and taking advantage of a slower Carlini and right back. And if you're just joining us, I say slower, not because she's not a good athlete, because she had an injury to her left ankle and set one of this match. Courtney back to serve, nine points scored, scored off of her at the service line here today. Just over the net it goes. A great play by Thompson to keep it alive. And Simone Lee, as Wisconsin was trying to regather themselves from that play, took advantage quick as we take a look at what this freshman has done here today. And sometimes the unexpected is the answer to the question. Simone Lee did not start this match, did not play at all a night last night. And she has been a highlight reel herself here today. He has the nine kills, the six attack errors hitting 120, but you'll take some of those from a freshman. Oh, you better believe it, especially when you see the potential she has to bury a ball like she just didn't want it to go. Badgers up by one. Washington gets it down. Washington with nine kills here today. One more before she exits the match. Try to save that one in true Penn State fashion, risking life and limb to keep the ball alive. They've told us that is the culture of Penn State volleyball. Every contact counts, and associate head coach Rockwell said, you know, Russ has ingrained that in the players, and the older players pass it down to the younger players. The younger players stepping up big here today. Simone Lee adding to her total here today. The freshman did not play yesterday versus UCLA. But why not insert her in this match where she was so successful with the 12 kills versus Wisconsin earlier in the regular season matchup? And she's playing in place of Allie Franti, who leads this team in kills. So that just gives you a perspective on how deep this Nittany Lion roster is. Free ball. And that's just a miss hit. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be an out-of-system near free ball over the net. Kelly Bates trying to create a little bit more difficult look for Penn State. She knows if she sends a free ball over, it's going to have disaster written all over it for Wisconsin. It's going to be another service error, the sixth for Micah Hancock here today. She got going with the aces to start off our last set. struggle in the service line here today. High to Lee over the block. Block is there, Nia Grant off the block out of bounds and a point for Wisconsin. The outside swing by Kelly Bates. 
because that block is late getting there, doesn't square the shoulders back around. Lee again. My goodness. That was not the intended shot I think the freshman was looking for there. This is so typical of what you see of some really great freshmen in your first year of collegiate volleyball. One shot is just an all-American shot, and then you see one off the back wall. But what potential is there in Simone Lee? Great dig there by Maury. Anna Whitney, and Ayanna Whitney will get it to go. So Whitney with the 12 kills here today to lead everybody for the Nitty Lions. She was very effective yesterday. What a great regional performance she has had. Kills yesterday at 571, only one error, three digs, three blocks, filled up a stat sheet versus UCLA. Bates, give it to her. Two point edge for the Badgers here, trying to extend it to a fifth set. The 5 foot 11 Bates just comes flying in there, swinging like there's no block in front of her. Harley targeting Pierce. Whitney. Ball. No, Harlini, of course, would be the one trying to track that ball down on a bum ankle and all. Again, Carlini of the Big Ten Player of the Year, Setter of the Year, Wisconsin, the Big Ten Champions, but Penn State, the only team in the Big Ten to defeat them this season. Fourth contact there, home against Wisconsin. Badgers finally hitting 300 here for the set to Penn State's 217 here in set four. And talk to Megan Courtney. Megan Courtney making some noise here in this fourth set. Just like set three, we go to commercial with Penn State leading 15-14, trying to create a little separation here. For the national championship a year ago, Penn State walking away with a hardware, their sixth national championship. That's going to go down for Courtney Thomas, who lit it up early on in this match. That's been such a good play for her, is they get her away from two blockers out of the antenna, run her down the middle of the court on a pretty quick tempo ball. It gives her a great look. She has 12 kills, hitting 296. Megan Courtney. So good to that back edge. Wow. That was an exclamation point swing from Megan Courtney, who just elevates to the next level out there. Has the five kills, the four attack errors here today. Penn State getting 280 for this set to Wisconsin's 261. Chapman, dig there by Gonzalez. Washington, dug up by Carlini. She is at the play. Block there. Back set over the block. It was Thomas. Courtney, and this time, denied. She is not holding anything back. I mean, she is just taking big rips at the ball. And the harder you swing sometimes, the harder it comes back at you. Unfortunately, Tom is getting the best of that one. 14 blocks for the Badgers to the Nittany Lions 9. And we are tied up again. 16 apiece here in set four. Service error for Katie Kivas, who was such a spark for this team off the bench yesterday with her three service aces. We'll rotate out. K Back in is Haley Nelson. KT, one of seven seniors on this Wisconsin squad who is looking to push this one to five. Alina Thompson, quick. There's a look at Dominique Thompson's dad. Daryl played football in Minnesota. Green Bay Packers for five years. Her mother played volleyball at Iowa. It's an athletic family. Lee and yes. A little bit more of a con controlled swing from Simone Lee as she's been inserted back into the match. 
very much aware of reducing errors here. Not, some of the, not one of the biggest swings we've seen from her, but she finds the corner. costly ones for Wisconsin as they try to pull ahead. They keep evening things out and then making an error. You know, Coach said there's got to be a real nice balance between the aggressive and the reckless here. Teams have traded the last nine points here in this fourth set. Wisconsin trying to keep the season alive to extend it to five. Great dig by Maury. Push out and Bates try to go over, make an athletic move, won't go. She knew the block was there. Her only hope was to wipe it off those hands out of bounds. But she's too far into the court to make that happen. So getting down to the nitty-gritty here in this fourth set, Penn State up 2-1. Badgers trying to hang tough to keep this season alive. Wisconsin is not... Penn State since 2011. They have lost the last six matchups between the two. And Penn State wants to get back to the national title game. And they're just a couple of points away from doing that here in Louisville. you want to see if you're Coach Sheffield and company with Micah Hancock, who has been off and on, we should say, at the service line here today. Russ Rose said we need to dominate the end line. It was one of our keys for them coming in. There have been struggles at times, but Micah Hancock is a gamer, and when they need her, I think she's going to put it in play for them. And State closed out the third set on a 5-1 run. This is what they are in the midst of here. Our matchup coming up after this, Texas and UNC. Who do you have there? You know, I just don't know if UNC can match the physicality of Texas, particularly on the outside. Those Longhorns have a lot of length and a lot of power from the bench. So Penn State and Wisconsin trying to punch that ticket to Oklahoma City. Penn State, the defending national champions, Wisconsin, the Big Ten champions, took that away from Penn State here today. Carlene, the Big Ten player of the year, Big Ten setter of the year. Taylor Moore, the Big Ten defensive player of the year. And Coach Sheffield, the Big Ten coach of the year, trying to slay the dragon. That is Penn State here today. In this fourth set, trying to extend it to five as we take a look at the comparison. Again, the top two setters in the country going head-to-head -head here today. Micah has been a little more offensive as you see the seven kills to Lawrence, too. I think that has a lot to do with Lauren's ankle, unfortunately. It's just taken away some areas of her game. Right at Bates. Morales with a great save for Wisconsin to push. Ayanna Whitney, and Whitney, why? Both pins. 
You know, when a hitter misses, they love to have that chance for redemption, and Micah Hancock gives it right back to Ayanna Whitney. She answers from the left side. She's been the catalyst here in Louisville. Led the team yesterday, has the 15 kills here today. Seven attack errors, though, but hitting 216 and some good kills at the right time for Penn State. Goes up again, gets it through the block, and that is it. And that gets the Penn State fans off of their feet as it is match point now for the Nittany Lions. Stuck it in the corner. We have seen such great range from Ayanna Whitney. She's got all the shots. 6-1-1 for Penn State. Penn State is heading back to the national semifinals. The road to Oklahoma City paid for the Nittany Lions. The defending national champions will have a chance to defend here that title.